How's it going today? I'm going to show you how to assemble this Victorian wrought iron metal platform bed frame. Now with this bed frame, they have this kind of curved tube that goes on the top. For the first step, we're going to put this on piece G. Now piece G is basically the header. It's these bars that come across and it is different than the footer. The footer is going to be piece H and that one has slightly different holes. This one slides down in the top. So you just grab the smaller screws with the washers and it does come with an Allen key that makes it really easy to assemble. You just put it in to screw it in, but I found that it's a little bit quicker with the drill. So that's what we're going to be using today. Once you get the top piece assembled, you're going to put in the bottom piece. Now this bottom piece is basically like the leg. And again, you have a hole with the small screw and washer to assemble this. After you get your headboard assembled, you're going to flip it around and you're going to see here on the legs, they have two screw holes and that's going to be for our rails. The rails are C and D. C is going to line up with these little channels going towards the inside and D is going to be the opposite. Again, we're going to get our T bolts, which are our small ones, and we're just going to screw this in place to attach this rail. All right, so now that we have the arms assembled, we can put the first brace piece that goes across. This is going to be piece I. It's got these adhesive strips on top. Now it has a little paper on it. You would just peel it off and that's going to help keep the mattress in place. And then you have these bolts that come in from the outside. So very simple here. You just put them on the outside, get one started. Now that it's started, you can go ahead and make sure that you have the white facing upwards and then just tighten it down in place. For the next step, we're going to go to the footer. Now the footer has a very similar feature as the headboard. You just want to make sure that you have holes right here at the bottom and then your curved piece only has one singular hole up top. You just place this one in. And then again, we're going to go with the shorter bolts with the curved washers. For the bottom side, we have piece B. Now piece B are short legs here and you just want to make sure this lines up with the hole here. After you get that in place, the next thing is going to be just the same as the headboard. You're going to have the C and D pieces, make sure the channels are to the inside and you're going to use the T bolts and you're just going to screw those in place. Much the same as before, you're going to grab piece I with the adhesive strip going upwards and you're going to put the bolt from the side going inwards. Okay, now that you have both the headboard and the footer assembled, we're going to attach them together. You get piece K here. Now piece K has a little channel. You want that channel pointing inwards. Then you're just going to grab screw O. Now these are one of the ones that are a little bit longer. So the way you would do this is have enough room to fit this underneath and stand it up on this leg. Once you're stood up, you just want to put the screws down below and then they have a place that receives them at the bottom of K. So you just screw them down into the bracket here. All right, now that we have the frame all put together, we're going to put the middle cross piece. Now, this middle cross piece has to be assembled. It's the two J pieces. You're going to knock this leg down and then you're going to do the same on the other side. You get piece L. Now, piece L is similar to K. You're going to put the screws from the top down. I find this a little bit easier to do on its side rather than standing up. Once you get your middle piece assembled and you're going to attach it to this brace right here, you're going to get the longest bolts in the pack and you're going to get the washers. These are the flat washers. You're going to put this in place and it's going to screw down to this leg. The next step is going to be this main cross member. Now this cross member is piece E and you're just going to slot it into those channels that we assembled on the ends here. You want to grab the long bolt again with the flat washer. This is going to go directly in the center. You may have to move this middle piece over to line up properly. Once you get this one screwed down in place, you just grab the end bolts, which are going to be a little bit shorter. Those are going to go on either end. For the last step, we're going to assemble the actual slats. Now these are real thin metal rectangles and the way these work is you just kind of put them in one end and then push them down. There are holes on either side at the end and that's just going to kind of help lock it in place. 